You are sitting in the top one and you are talking like this. <laughs> Uh, the movement was started by Shilap Prabhupada. Okay. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. What is that? Chota hai, Mike. Okay. आप गा रहे हो धोती कुर्ता का बारिश भी नहीं लेके आता हूं मैं बैग में लिया वो जिसे पूछ लिया गाने से कट
Kiva Jaya Jaya Gora Chande Arati Kasho Jana Bita Tabani Jagaman Loba Kibada Chi. Chan Bame Gadadara Baba se ache gora chan ratna singa sane Arati Karena Brahma Adi Deva Gane Hari Adi Kari Chamara Dulaya Sanjaya Mukunda Bhatu Ghost Adhigar Iba Sanka Baje Ganta Baje Baje Karetala
मधुराम गंगा बजे परम रिबा बहु कोटि चंद्र जी बदन उज्वल गाल दे से बन माला करे जल माला सुख नारादा दिवासिवा सुख नारादा गदगदा संपा जय गोरानिताय 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 जय गोरानिताय नम विष्णु प्रदाय कृष्णा पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमद भक्ति वेदात स्वामी तीनामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिने निर्विशेषून्यवादी पाश्चातारिने जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौर भक्त जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद 
श्रीयादत गादाधर श्री बाथादी गौर भक्त ब्रेदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय राधा पार्षदी राधा पार्षदी राधे जय गोरानीताय 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 जय गोरानीताय जय नरसि मारे नरसि मारे नरसि मारे जय प्रहलाद महाराज
जय जगन्नाथ जय जगन्नाथ जय बलदेव जय जय सुभद्रा जय जय प्रभुपाद 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 जय प्रभुपाद जय ओम विष्णुपाद परमंत परिवाचार्य अष्टोद श्रीमद कृष्ण कृपा मूर्ति अभ्याचार नारायण भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्री लभुपाद की स्कोन फाउंडर आचार्य बीवीडी फाउंडर आचार्य शिविर ऑफ द होल बट हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी श्री लभुपाद की जय ओम विष्णुपाद श्री रूप सनातन भट्ट रघुनाथ श्री जीव गोपाल भट्ट दास रघुनाथ सट गोस्वामी बिंद्र की नाम आचार्य श्री हरिदास ठाकुर की श्री श्री राधा पार्षार्थी गौर निताय की नरसिंह देव प्रहलाद महाराज की जगन्नाथ बलदेव सुद्रा महारानी की जगत गुरु श्री लभुपाद की निताई गौर प्रेमानंदे ऑल ग्लोरीज टू असम्बल डिवोटी ऑल ग्लोरीज टू असम्बल डिवोटी All glories to Sri Guru and Gauranga. All glories to Sri La Prabhu, Sri La Prabhu Padki. नमस्ते नरसिंहाया नमस्ते नरसिंहाया प्रलाद लाद गाइने
सिंहदेव भगवान की शिरोमणि भक्त प्रहलाद महाराज की जगत गुरु श्री प्रभुपाद की रोजी दूर हो जाओ मैं ये यही लगाता ना
कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 
Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Namaham Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Pastaya, Buddha Lai, Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namne, Namaste Sarasati Devi, Gauravani Pukarine, Nirvishe Shashanyavadi Paschachande Shittarine. So we're continuing our discussion on the nine angas of bhakti as described by Prahlad Maharaj, in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam mein Pralad Maharaj Dwara Bataya Gya Bhakti ke no ango ki varnan hum aage kar rahe hain. So last night we spoke about the process of Vandanam, offering prayers. So who remembers who is the personality who achieved perfection by offering prayers? Akshura. Vandanam ki vidhi pe charcha kiya tha ki kaise jeevan ki perfection ko praat kiya ja sakta hai prathnaye arpan karne ke dwara. And tonight we're going to go on to speak about dashyam, servitude, and the example of a great personality whose perfection was in serving is Anuman. Yes, Anuman. So, aaj hum no vidhi, bhakti ki no vidhiyo mein se dashyam विधि के बारे में चर्चा करेंगे और दास्यम विधि को प्रतिपादित करते हैं भगवान के महान भक्त हनुमान जी। So we're all trying to engage in some kind of service for the pleasure of the Lord। तो हम सब किसी न किसी प्रकार की सेवा में नियुक्त होना चाहते हैं भगवान की प्रसन्नता के लिए। Actually, you could say that hearing and chanting and remembering are also service to Krishna. So, you can say that Shravan, Kirtan, Smaran, Ityadi, these are all God's service. All the different, all the other eight angas of bhakti, they're all service to the for the pleasure of the Lord. So, bhakti ki jo baaki art vidya hai, sari ki sari. But we see the particular mood of some devotees that they simply aspire to engage in the service of the Lord. They don't desire to become friendly with the Lord or to become like parents or lovers. So the mood of servitude, the mood of dashyam is a little above the mood of neutrality, of shantaras. There are five rasas which are there in relationship to Lord Krishna. Begins with Shantaras, then Dasharas, then Vatsavya, then we have uh, Sakya, and then Madhurya. So, Kisi Bi Jeev Ke Bhagwan Se, Ye Panch Me Se, Koi Ek Sambandh Hota Hai, Jo Shuru Hota Hai Shantaras Se, Uske Baad Dasya. So, 
Hanuman is a devotee in this mood of dasya. He always wants to be simply the servant and he doesn't want anything to change that relationship which he has with Lord Ramachandra. So Hanuman ji, dasyam vidhi ke bhoti sundar dharan hai aur wo hamesha bhagwan ke das hi rehna chahte hai. Wo kuch isme badlaar nahi chahte hai. We see Hanuman is always just waiting but whatever Lord Ramachandra wants, he's ready to immediately go and do whatever the Lord desires. One time, Lord Krishna told Garuda, go to Hanuman, tell Hanuman to come, I want to see him. So, so Garuda went, found Hanuman. Um, Hanuman resides in Kimpurusha Loka, which is near to Mount Meru, one of the regions in Bumandala. And uh, Garuda went there and told Hanuman, the Lord wants to see you right away. He's in Dwarka. You should go immediately. Hanuman, he didn't didn't do anything, just stayed there. So Garuda went back to Dwarka and Lord Krishna asked him, what happened? Did you tell Hanuman? And Garuda said, yeah, I told him, but you know, he didn't come yet. So when he came back to Dwarka, he asked Krishna, Garuda, so Bhagavan ne pucha kya hua, aapne Hanuman ji ko bulaya, bulaya, haan bulaya to tha, lekin kuch aaya nahi ho. He said, did you tell him Lord Rama wants to see him? He said, no, no, I never told him that. He said, then you must go back and immediately tell him. So Bhagavan ne pucha ki kya aapne, unko ye bula tha ki Bhagavan Rama Chandra aap se milna chate hai? Bule, nahi, nahi, mene asa to nahi bula tha. Bule, dubara jau, wai asa bolo jate. So Garuda flew back to Kimparusha Loka and met with Hanuman, told Hanuman, Lord Rama wants to see you right away. So Hanuman immediately, his eyes popped up, he's ready to go. Garuda said, you know, I can take you on my back, I can carry you there. Hanuman said, no, it's all right, I can go on my own. <laughs> So Garuda flew back to Dwarka and he found that Hanuman was already there. <laughs> so this typical of the mood which Hanuman had as being the servant of Lord Ramachandra. And we know from Ramayana during the battle of Lanka when Lakshman was hit by the the Astra from the son from Indrajit, the son of Ravan, Lakshman was knocked unconscious. And the only thing which could revive him, they had to get the medicine from uh, from the uh, what's it the mountain up in the Himalayas, a special mountain there. So Hanuman, he flew there and he wasn't sure which was the herb they wanted. So he brought the whole top of the mountain. So you all have heard that in Ramayana, we hear that when Indrajit's attack, Lakshman Ji was killed, then at that time, there was a need for such a big deal that was in Himalaya Parvet. So Hanuman is always in that mood to do service and he's just waiting for Lord Ramachandra to call him 
and he will immediately act for the service of Lord Ramachandra. Of course, Lord Ramachandra went back to the spiritual world after he finished his Leela here in this world. He returned to the, to the Vaikuntha, where his planet is there. Ayodhya is a region in the spiritual world. But he left Hanuman here in this world. Sugriva went back to the spiritual world. And all the other associates of Lord Ramachandra, all the Ayodhya Vasis, they all returned with Lord Ramachandra to the spiritual world. But Hanuman was left here. He had to stay in this world. So, when Bhagavan Ramachandra went to Leela Samapt and went back to Leela Samapt, Hanuman Ji left him here. The rest of Sugri, the rest of the Parshat, they all went to Leela Samapt, but Hanuman Ji left him here. But Hanuman has given benediction that whenever there is Ramkata going on, then Hanuman can go and be there. Hanuman always wants to hear the pastimes of Lord Rama. He wants to hear the Lord Ramachandra glorified and he will always go and attend. So there are different kinds of servants for Lord Krishna. In Dwarka, one of Lord Krishna's servants is Daruka. Daruka is the charioteer of Lord Krishna. So Bhagavan Sri Krishna ke kai sare sevak hain aur Dwarka mein unke jo ek sarthi hai unka naam hai Daruka. And in Vrindavan, Krishna has different servants. In the servants in Vrindavan, there's one servant called Raktak, and then there's another called Patrak. So Vrindavan mein Bhagavan ke alag daas hain, aur jo Vrindavan mein kuch daas hain, jaise ki Raktak, Patrak. They're all pure devotees, liberated souls who are eternally engaged in the service of Lord Krishna. And the demigods are also servants of Lord Krishna. There's a conversation took place between two of Lord Krishna's wives. One was Jambavati, the daughter of Jambavan, and the other was Kalindi. So Jambavati was talking to Kalindi and she asked her, who, who is that lady circumambulating our Lord Krishna? So Bhagavan Sri Krishna ki do patniya Jambavati, jo ki Jambavan ki putri hai aur Kalindi, ye dono aapas mein charcha kar rahi thi. So Jambavati ne Kalindi ko kaha ki ye stri kaun hai? So uh, Kalindi replied, Oh, that is Am Ambika. Ambika. She is the superintendent of the universal affairs. So Kalindi ne bataya ki wo Ambika hai aur wo is Brahman ke adhikshak hai. And then Jambavan, Jambavati asked, and who is that person who's who's crying at the, at, at, at Lord at Lord Krishna's lotus feet? No, not crying, trembling. He's trembling. Oh, and, and, and Kalindi said, Oh, that is Lord Shiva. And then Kalindi asked, and who is that person who's offering the prayers to Lord Krishna? So that is Lord Brahma. 
And then she asked, and who is that person who has fallen at the feet of Lord Krishna? Said, oh, that is Indra, the king of heaven. In this way, we can understand how all the different demigods in the heavenly planets, they're all engaged in the service of Lord Krishna. When Lord Krishna gives the order to Lord Brahma, now you create, then the creation begins. And when Lord Krishna gives the order to Lord Shiva, now you annihilate, and let Lord Shiva will begin the work of destruction of the universe. So even the great demigods in heaven are all servants of the Supreme Lord. There are different kinds of servants of the Lord. Some people have more intimacy than others. Just like in the pastimes of Radha and Krishna, the intimate servants are manjaris, they're young girls who have not yet reached the stage of puberty. The, the gopis, they're already mature ladies, so they're not allowed to have so much intimacy in the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. But the Manjaris, they're just young girls, they don't know anything, so they don't feel any jealousy or envy towards Radharani when she's engaging in loving affairs with Lord Krishna. So there are many groups of gopis and some gopis are more intimate, they're more the principal gopis, just like in Mayapur, we have the astasakis on the altar, the eight principal gopis. Right, from left to right, Tunga Vidya, Chitra, Champakalata, then Lalita, and then on the other side, Vishaka, Induleka, Ranga Devi, and Sudevi. These are the eight principal gopis. But there's many, many thousands of gopis. And the gopis are all in groups and there will be a leader of the group and then there will be each person in the group. They will have their own group and then from that group there will be other groups and then this way it's like something like our Bhakti Priksha, like the Namhata is arranged. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has explained Gopi Bhartu Padakamalaya or Das 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 Anudas to be the servant of the servant of the servant, many times the servant. That is the mood of Krishna consciousness. We want to be the 
this, this, we, we may be far away, far removed, but we want to be servant. We may be some distance away from Lord Krishna, but still the mood of being the servant is there, that we connect through the teacher, through the, the leader of our group, we connect to another group, and from the leader of that group to another group. Just like we have parampara, we, are serve, we serve our spiritual master, our spiritual master serves his spiritual master, and his spiritual master serves him. And in this way, the service ultimately goes to Lord Krishna. So, in the material world, conditioned souls, they think to be the servant Oh, that's not good. I want to be the master. People, due to their conditioned nature, they're thinking that I will enjoy more if I am the master rather than if I am the servant. Srila Prabhupada went to Japan one, at one point. Uh, we were printing books with a Japanese printing company, a very big company called Dynapon. And Prabhupada went there to personally negotiate with them about printing books for the society. So Prabhupada met with all the directors, the whole board of directors were there. And each of the directors, they gave their name card. And on the top of the name card, was the chairman of the company, you know, the head, the main man, the, the head of all the directors. And the most junior director, his name card was on the bottom. So, when Prabhupada Ji went there, the board of Nirdeshaka was there, and all of them had their own card, and the chairman of the company was on the bottom of the card. Was the card. Hmm. Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada also had his sannyasis make sure they all had name cards. And when they went for preaching, they would give their name card to people. Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Sarasati Thakur Maharaj, apne sannyasis shishyam ko bolte te ki apne naam ke card, visiting card chhapiye, aur jab logo se mile, to unko card vizega. So, it's common practice, you know, in business, people have their name cards. So Prabhupada had this pile of name cards given to him, all the directors. So So Prabhupada discussed with the directors and they, you know, they come to, they came to some agreement and at one point there was a break and all the directors got up and went into another room, except for the youngest director. So Prabhupada took the opportunity to speak to this young man who was on the board of directors and he he was talking to him and he asked him, so what is your goal in life? So Prabhupada 
So the man took the pile of cards, the name cards, and his own card was on the bottom, and he took it out from the bottom and he put it on the top. <laughs> and this way he was showing what is the, the mood of the condition. So that you know, I want to be the controller. I want to be on top. So but what is the highest in the material world is the lowest in the spiritual world. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur has written one book about the Namhata, about preaching in the marketplace of the holy name. And he describes that the sweeper of the marketplace is the spiritual teacher. We may think, oh, the sweeper in the marketplace, that's the lowest, that's the poor. But in the terms of the, the spiritual consciousness, that is the most important job, and that is the job of the spiritual teacher. So, you can see that the sweeper is the lowest, but the sweeper just like in a marketplace, the sweeper will take out all the garbage, all the rotten things. He has to he has to move everything and make sure the marketplace is kept neat and clean and in order. In the same way, the spiritual teacher has to recognize the deviations and the, the wrongs in the practice of devotional service. And he has to correct all of these things and keep everybody on the right track. Srila Prabhupada, although he was in his 80s, he was still traveling around the world, going to the different centers. So devotees were telling Prabhupada, Prabhupada, maybe you should just stay in Vrindavan and just rest. But Prabhupada said, no, I have to come and see all of you. If I don't come and see you, you will all fall down. So Srila Prabhupada ji, us samay lagbhag 80 saal ke ho chuke the aur 80 saal mein bhi pure vishv mein bhraman kar rahe the to kai baar bhakt unko chitti bhejte the ki Prabhu Pad ji koi baat nahi aap aapke aane ki zarurat nahi hai aap udhar Vrindavan mein hi rahiye lekin Prabhu Pad ji unko reply kiye ki agar main main aaunga aapse milne mujhe zaruri hai agar main nahi aaunga to aap log ka patan ho jayega he had to come go around all the temples and make sure that everything was being done proper, that the standards were being maintained as he had instructed us. So this is like the sweeper in the marketplace. Try to understand that what is the lowest position in the material world is the highest position in the spiritual world. There is more pleasure in being the servant than in being the master. And Lord Krishna understood this himself. 
Lord Krishna wants to enjoy. He's, he is the supreme enjoyer and he wants the greatest pleasures. So, Bhagavan Sri Krishna bhi apne hi udharan se dikhate hain. Bhagavan Sri Krishna jo hai, wo, wo anand lena chaate hain. Wo param, param Bhagavan hai. He wanted to enjoy more, but he saw that the gopis were enjoying more than him. So, param Bhagavan hone ke naate, wo sabse jyada anand lena chaate hain. Lekin wo dekhte hain ki unse bhi jyada anand to gopiyan le rahe hain. He saw that although he wants to enjoy, the gopis were getting more pleasure than him. They were enjoying the beauty of Krishna. And they were enjoying the love which Krishna had for the gopis. And the gopis also loved Krishna. So their enjoyment was hundreds and thousands of times greater than that of Krishna. And that is why Lord Krishna came just 500 years ago as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in the mood of a devotee. People in the material world, they are trying to be God. They are God's competitors. They are trying to become as rich and as famous as Krishna. Of course, they can never be successful, but they try. They have that mood that they want to be God. First, we want to enjoy the material world. We try to make it in the material world and to become big man in the material success. And when we can't succeed, then we, then we try to become God. So, and of course, that idea to become one with God or to enter into the oneness with God, that is another illusion. You can enter there for some time, but you cannot remain there. You have to come back to the material world. So the, the greatest pleasure is in being the servant. The, we say it's better to give than to receive. There's, there's more pleasure. Recording in progress. Something. <laughs> So, the devotional service is training us to cultivate that mood of giving and so, not taking. So, Bhakti Mai Seva, here we have a profession that we have to give the power of the power of the power of the power of the power. When Srila Prabhupada went to America, the people in America were asking him, oh, uh, you've just come to collect some money to go back to India, is it? To build your nice temple in India? But Prabhupada told them, I haven't come to beg from you. He said, I've come to give you what you lack. You don't have any God consciousness. I've come to give you that 
the most important thing in life which you are lacking to shila prabhu pad ji ne bola ki main yahan kis se kuch lene nahi aaya hu main aap logo ko dene aaya hu jo cheez jo jo jeevan ka sabse mukhya cheez hai jo krishna bhavana mein jo aapke paas nahi hai wo main aapko dene aaya hu so that is the mood of the servant and then sometimes the reporters would ask prabhu pad are you also god swami ji so many others have come from india they all tell us they are god are you also god to ek bar kuch press reporter ne prabhu pad ji se pucha ki kya swami ji aap bhagwan hain bahut sare log bharat se aate hain aur sare kehte hain ki hum bhagwan hain to aap bhi aise hi bhagwan ho nishal prabhu said no 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 i am not god he said i am simply a servant of god but then prabhu pad in his humility he said actually i am not even a servant of god i am just trying to be a servant of god so this is this is a mood of the devotee the the one one who is the devotee of the lord he is naturally humble and he thinks whatever he can offer to krishna is insignificant so ye ek bhakt ka vichar hota hai ek bhakt jo hai wo hamesha bada vinam rehta hai aur wo sochta hai ki bhagwan ko kuch bhi seva nahi kar sakta what can we offer to god we are very small and insignificant how can we ever please him hum bhagwan ko kya de sakte hain hum bahut chote hain hum Do you think Lord Krishna is hungry for your flowers and fruits? क्या आपको लगता है भगवान कृष्णा आपके फलों फूलों के लिए भूखे हैं? He has so many goddesses of fortune in the spiritual world who are all serving him. Do you think he needs our service? तो भगवान आध्यात्मिक जगत में हजारों लक्ष्मियाँ भगवान की सेवा करती है तो आपको लगता है कि लेकिन फिर भी भगवान हमें ये मौका देते हैं अपने आप को हमें शुद्ध करने का इसलिए हमें अपनी सेवा में नियुक्त करते हैं वी हैव टू डेवेलप दैट डिवोशन दैट भक्ति because that is what krishna wants to hame aisa bhakti utpann karna hai kyunki ye bhakti hai wo krishna chahte hain krishna doesn't need our leaves and flowers and fruit or water but he wants the devotion the important ingredient is the devotion not the objects not the offerings themselves but the devotion with which they are prepared and offered तो भगवान हमारा द्वारा अर्पित किया गया पत्ता फूल फल पानी इत्यादि ये सब नहीं चाहते भगवान जो ये सब चीजों के अर्पण करने के पीछे जो भक्ति की भावना है उसको चाहते इट इज सेड वन टाइम डॉन द इवो सन ऑफ ड्रिटरास्ट प्रिपेयर द बिग फीस्ट विद ऑल द बेस्ट इंग्रेडिएंट्स एंड ही टोल लॉर्ड कृष्ण प्लीज कम आई प्रिपेयर दिस नाइस फूड आई वॉन्ट यू टू कम एंड टेक अ फीस्ट हियर but krishna said no 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 i'm not hungry to ek baar duryodhan ne ek bahut sare vyanjan aayojit kiye bahut bada ek bhagwan ke liye bhog taiyar kiya aur bhagwan ko kya aap aaiye khaiye lekin bhagwan ne kaha nahi nahi mujhe bhook nahi laga but when vidura told lord krishna please come to my home he prepared he had some bananas there and he offered the bananas to krishna but he was so much in ecstasy he was so excited krishna is coming to my home that he threw away the bananas and gave krishna the banana skins so lekin jab vidur ji ne bhagwan ko apne ghar pe aane ke liye prarthana kiya ki aap ghar pe bhojan kijiye to wahan pe kele the unko khilane ke liye bas aur vidur ji itne zyada utsahit ho gaye bhagwan ko dekh ke itna prasann the ki bhagwan ko kele jo hai fek rahe the और छिलके भगवान को खिला रहे थे। 
Lord Krishna accepted. So that mood of service is important. The mood of service must be pure. We talk about devo devotion. There can be service. Service can be influenced by the different modes of nature. We may serve in the mode of ignorance or passion or even in the mode of goodness. So, Service is pure, but our, our motives are not pure. We are influenced by Rajagun and Tamagun. So when we try to do service for Lord Krishna, According to our mood, it will influence the service. So, seva to should hoti hai. Lekin seva ke piche jo humari chetna hai aur jo humari abhilasha hai, wahan par dikkat hai. To kabi ham sato gun mein, kabi rajjo gun mein, kabi tamo gun mein seva karte hai. If somebody does the, the, the service in an angry mood, in the mood to want to do harm to others, then that will be service in the mode of ignorance. And if somebody does service, but he wants to be recognized by everyone, that I'm a, I've done this, I'm a great devotee, that is the mode of passion. And if somebody does service in the mode that I simply want to destroy my past sins, then that is the mode of goodness. But the highest mode of service is we perform the service simply for the pleasure of Lord Krishna. That we don't want anything for ourselves. We simply want to give service to Krishna. And Lord Krishna becomes obliged by that service. Lord Krishna says himself in the Bhagavad Gita, that he is understood only by pure devotion. Now we want to cultivate that mood of devotion, devotion with service. It's not just devotion, but the mood of actually serving with devotion. So we want to cultivate that mood of devotion, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had taught all of us, it, uh, he has said, Jivar Swarupahaya Nidya Krishna Das, that the constitutional position of all living entities eternally is to be the servant of Krishna. You may be a friend of Krishna, but in friendship with Krishna, there will be also the mood of giving service. One is who is in uh, Vatsavyara's parenthood, Mother Rishoda, Nanda Maharaj, Vasudev, Devaki, Krishna's parents, their mood is also to serve Krishna. Although their parents, the mother, the father, always want to serve the child. So, this is the same thing. This is the same thing. We have seen that the God, the Father, 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 the
then that, that mood of service is also there. So whatever relationship we may have with Lord Krishna, there must always be that mood of service. And, and that way, then we go on to cultivate our loving relationship with Lord Krishna. So we'll ask if there's any questions, Jeff. Yes, Prabhu. So Maharaj Prabhuji says that some devotees they advance rapidly in bhakti and some are rather slow. So does it have any relation with our previous karma? Bhakti doesn't really have any connection with karma. So bhakti ka pishle karma se koi matlab nahi hai. Bhakti is a transcendental, but karma is under the modes of nature. So one can fully, if one fully engages in bhakti, then one can transcend all the karma. We see many examples of hunters and so on, people like that who were very sinful, but they became great devotees. So what is important is to get the mercy of devotees. Look at Jagai and Madhai. They were, it said there was no sin they had not committed. They'd done everything. But they became great devotees. They're in the tree of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's devotees. And Magrari was a hunter. He was trapping the animals and letting them suffer in a very cruel manner. But he became a wonderful devotee. He wouldn't even harm little insects. He completely changed. We can't think karma has anything to do with, nothing to do with karma. Karma is material and all the karma can be destroyed. You just have to engage in devotional service. Devotional service will burn all the sinful reactions up. If you have a blazing fire, you can bring all the wood you like, it will all be burned to ashes. So you may have, we may have so much bad karma, it can all be destroyed just by one stroke of devotional service. But you have to fully engage in devotional service. And the devotional service should be unmotivated. It should not be with any material desire. And it should be uninterrupted also. It should be constant. Not that, oh, I do my bhakti on Sundays and other days I'm busy. 
No, it's got to be ahaitiki apratihata. It must be unmotivated and uninterrupted. And so, then you will get the proper effect. So, bhakti jo hai, wo bina kisi bahari abhilasha ke, aur bina kisi rukavad ke honi chai, lagataar honi chai, tab aapko uska prabhav mele. Yes, Prabhu. Uh, uh, my second question here. Oh, yeah. Uh, the second question, he was saying that if... Gita, if you are the Gita, then you can be the Gita. Okay. Sometimes the father is a devotee, but the, the son is not devotee. So <laughs> <laughs> you have you have free will. Yeah. <laughs> Prabhupada was devotee. Not all of his sons were devotees. <laughs> Everyone has independence. You cannot think just because father is devotee, son must also be devotee. Maybe mother has more influence than the father. <laughs> is mother a devotee? So, <laughs> Yes, Prabhu. Maharaj, we can see my good humble opinion for some your lotus feet. We are actually feeling uh, very fortunate to have your uh, contact. What's your question? Uh, Maharaj, my question is uh, uh, as, we are, as we are seeing that in the, in the environment of this Krishna consciousness, uh, each devotee is not appreciating each other. And we also uh, learn that uh, we should not do any service in the anticipation of any appreciation. So, Maharaj, it is uh, something that which is coming by default in, in this Krishna consciousness, this appreciation. So, how we should avoid that? I don't get it. Uh, so, Prabhuji is saying that uh, you said we should do uh, devotional service without any you know, expectation or any other desire, but in because here devotees appreciate each other a lot, so it is coming that appreciation is coming to us. So, how to deal with that? The devotee, whatever appreciation comes, is offered to Guru and Krishna, it's not for the devotee. So, Prabhuji, a person that keep us take to Sriki for Tarik Kate or Vese Pulaya keep Hakti Memeko Yavilasha Nayon, it's to Maharaj Kare keep Hakti Mejovia. Whatever is offered, devotee accepts, offers it to his guru. And guru will offer to his guru, it will go to Krishna. It's not for him. If we think it's for me, that is Maya, that's illusion. Just like devotee may be given some contribution, he may be given some money, he shouldn't think it's for him, it's for Krishna. Whenever we would give any money to Prabhupada, Prabhupada would say, put it in my book fund. And it would be used to help to print books. Prabhupada wasn't keeping his own bank account. All the money was going for his book fund, for the book trust. One time, a devotee wrote a book, or he published a book, it was actually a song book, and then the devotee was saying, he said, you know, I compiled this song book, you know, I should get some contribution from the sales of the book. So, 
और तो वो, वो बस कहने लगे कि क्योंकि मैंने इसको सारे को किताब को वो किया है तो मुझे कुछ कमीशन मिलना चाहिए जब ये स्पीकिंग किताब प्रभुपाद व्हाट आई नेवर गॉट एनी मनी फॉर ऑल द बुक्स आई रोड तो प्रभुपाद जी ने कहा मैंने इतनी किताबें लिखी हैं मैंने कभी कमीशन नहीं लिया व्हाट इज दिस यू वांट मनी फॉर योर वन बुक आपने एक किताब छोटी सी करी है इसके लिए आपको पैसा चाहिए नो प्रभुपाद सेड दैट यू कैन डू दैट दैट्स नॉट द वे प्रभुपाद जी ने बोला ये तरीका नहीं है Everything belongs to Krishna. सब कुछ कृष्ण का है Well, you're not really qualified to do puja. <laughs> If you're really angry, then you're supposed to be Brahman to do puja, and Brahmins are supposed to control the mind and senses. They're not supposed to get angry like that. तो महाराज बता रहे हैं कि पूजा करने की जो योग्यता है उसके लिए ब्राह्मण होना जरूरी है और ब्राह्मण के गुण है ब्राह्मण का गुण है कि उनका मन और इंद्रिया संतुलन में होना चाहिए तो अगर कोई ऐसे ही क्रोधित हो रहा है इसका मतलब उसके पास ब्राह्मण के गुण नहीं है वो पूजा करने के योग्य है ही नहीं पहले सो यू आर वेरी एंग्री यू बेटर सिट इन चैंट होली नेम यू चैंट एक्स्ट्रा राउंड डू अ लॉट ऑफ चैंटिंग तो अगर आपको बहुत गुस्सा आ रहा है किसी को तो आप पूजा मत कीजिए आप हरे कृष्णा महामंत्र का जब कीजिए बस एंड फास्ट डोंट ईट एनीथिंग और आप व्रत कीजिए कुछ खाइए मत एंड देन दिस वे कूल डाउन तो आप भी ठंडे हो जाएंगे बट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड एंगर लस्ट एंगर इन ग्रीड आर थ्री गेट्स इन टू हेल लेकिन आपको ये भी पता होना चाहिए कि काम क्रोध और लोभ ये तीनों नरक के नरक के द्वार हैं So you're talking about doing puja, but you're very angry. That's not not the way. It's not proper. So you're puja करने की बात कर रहे हो और फिर अगर आप बहुत क्रोधित होते हो तो ये फिर अच्छा नहीं है. The question is how to find the contacts. How to find? How to find contacts? Really. How to get your desire? Yes. So, how to know what to do? I am in this situation. How to understand what I want? Yes, what to do? So, you go. Get it. अपनी इच्छा नहीं पता चल रही था वेल वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वी कैन नॉट बी विद आउट डिजायर्स Sometimes people think that to have desires is wrong. We want try and they try to stop desires and suppress desires. But what we have to do is purify desires. So, first of all, we have to know that we cannot live without desires. So, desires will always be there. Sometimes people say that I have no desires. I have done everything. That is not true. Desires should be there, but we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, we should purify our desires. So, instead of desires, अपनी अपने मान अपने इंद्रिय और अपने शरीर को तुष्ट करने की अपेक्षा भगवान की संतुष्टि के लिए इच्छा होनी चाहिए वॉट टू डू इन दिस लाइफ वाउ यू शुड चैन हरे कृष्णा 
other other than bhakti, what should we do? There's no hope other than bhakti. <laughs> Other than bhakti, you have no chance. Your life is hopeless. Hare Krishna Maharaj, my father is suffering from cancer. So I want to I want to ask to, to give him some blessings and motivation how to live a joyfully and motivated to do So Mary Pitaji cancer say grasp hand. और महाराज मैं आपसे प्रार्थना करता हूं कि उनको कुछ आशीर्वाद दीजिए और कुछ ऐसा दीजिए कि वो खुशी से रह पाए वेल वी आर ऑल डाइंग एवरी वन ऑफ अस आर डाइंग हियर तो महाराज कह रहे हैं कि हम सब का मृत्यु हो रहा है हम सब का जितने भी हैं यहां फॉर वन हु इज टेकन बर्थ डेथ इज सर्टेन जिसने भी जन्म लिया है मृत्यु निश्चित है so we have to understand we're all in that position that we're all going to leave the body sooner or later nobody can say i will not die the death rate Prabhupada said the death rate is the same as always been 100 percent it doesn't matter who you are, everyone's going to die. We, we have to understand how to use our time while we're here in this body. So the, we have the example from the Srimad Bhagavatam. Maharaj Parikshit had seven days left to live. So he spent his time just hearing the glories of Lord Krishna from the Srimad Bhagavatam. So we have this example from Srimad Bhagavatam that Maharaj Parikshit had only seven days left to live. And he had only seven days left to live. Some of our devotees, when they get diagnosed like that, they go immediately to Vrindavan, to a holy land like Vrindavan, and they prepare themselves there to leave the world in the holy place. So, but you don't have to go to the holy place. You can stay at home, but you want to be in good consciousness. You want to have the consciousness that you're not the body, that you're living in a body. It's a temporary body, and we're going to give up that body. I will leave the body. We will take another body. So, for the soul, there's no birth and death. The body is just a dress. So in the course of life, we've changed the dress many times. From the young person to the old age person, we're changing the body. In the same way, with death we change, we give up one body, we'll take another body. So we prepare ourselves to get a better body in the next life by chanting the holy names of God. And if, if you can fix your mind on God at the end of life, then you can go, you can be freed from the material world and you can go into the spiritual world. You can go to Golok. One way ticket. One way ticket, no coming back. 
ये टिकट केवल एक तरफ का ही है जैसे आपको वापस आने की जरूरत नहीं है भौतिक जगत में गोलोक के चार होम गोलोक हमारा घर है तो प्रभु का प्रश्न है कि महाराज आपने बताया कि जो भक्ति की जो अग्नि है तीव्र अग्नि उससे सारे पुराने कर्म जल जाते हैं लेकिन हम देखते हैं कि श्रीमद भागवतम है कि भीष्म देव उनको भी और पर भगवान परशुराम को भी अपने पुराने कर्मों को भोगना पड़ता है Well, it's not that he had to suffer, but he himself chose to do tapasya as atonement for everything which he'd done. He himself wanted to show that example of atonement for all the violence and all the killing which he had done. Therefore, he did tapasya. So, it was not that he had to suffer from his karma. He had to do the same kind of karma. वो एक उदाहरण स्थापित करना चाहते थे और पश्चाताप के कारण वो एक तपस्या कर रहे तो का प्रश्न है कि जब हम थोड़ी जो नीचे लेवल की हमें लगता है सेवा कर रहे हैं तो उस समय हमारी जो ईगो है वो हर्ट होती है तो क्या करना चाहिए control your ego by chanting hari krishna so aap isko kar sakte hari krishna maha mantra ke jap ke dwara you can also worship lord shiva lord shiva controls the false ego aap bhagwan shiv ki bhi aaradhana kar sakte hain wo hamari mithya ahankar ko sambhalte hain so you can pray to lord shiva to help you to conquer over your false ego But Lord Shiva is easily pleased. He's also easily angered. So Bhagwan Shiva is both easily happy and both easily angered. So you have to be careful. But if you chant Hari Krishna, Krishna is Dina Bandhu. He is very kind to the fallen souls. लेकिन अगर आप हरे कृष्णा का जब करते हैं तो कृष्ण दीन बंधु हैं वो पति आत्माओं के को हमेशा कृपा करते हैं तो द बेस्ट प्रोसेस टू अप्रोच लॉर्ड कृष्ण इसलिए सबसे अच्छा तरीका है भगवान श्री कृष्ण को के पास जाना You know, uh, like why were they problem facing Krishna consciousness? Because they are not like this, they are the Krishna. But uh, later, uh, later they are just for the main purpose is that I keep in seva and do for continuously for uh, two or three months. But after two or three months, what's happened in my mind? Like my understanding, then still the thoughts uh, like uh, uh, what are you doing? Uh, uh, I'm demotivated because my understanding, the thoughts is perfect uh, apart from the spiritual state. It's totally meditation. तो प्रभु जी का प्रश्न है कि मैं कभी कोई सेवा करता हूँ लगातार दो तीन महीने के लिए करता हूँ तो फिर उसके बाद एकदम से मन ऐसा कुछ गेम खेल जाता है कि पता ही नहीं चलता और ऐसा लगता है कि क्यों मैं ऐसा कर रहा हूं और फिर उत्साह कम हो जाता है तो मैं कैसे उत्साह बना के रखूं नो यू हैव टू हैव फेथ यू हैव टू बी कन्विंस्ड दैट व्हाट यू आर डूइंग इज राइट थिंग एंड देन यू हैव टू अप्लाई योरसेल्फ डेडिकेट योरसेल्फ इन द इन द सर्विस टू कृष्णा तो आपको सबसे पहले ये विश्वास होना चाहिए कि आप जो कर रहे हैं वो बिल्कुल सही है आप भगवान का सेवा में लगे बिल्कुल सही है और फिर हमें अपने आप को पूरी तरह से You have to know when is the mind being a friend and when is the mind being an enemy. And when the mind is your enemy, then you have to neglect the mind. आपको पता होना चाहिए कि आपका मन कब आपका मित्र है और कब आपका शत्रु है और जब आपको पता रहे 
कि आपका मन आपका शत्रु है तो बिल्कुल उसको सुनो मत और यू कैन बीट द माइंड कॉन्कर योर माइंड अपने मन का पिटाई करो उसे विजय प्राप्त करो एवरी डे वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग कॉन्करिंग द माइंड बाय चैंटिंग जपा हम लोग रोज प्रयास करते हैं अपने मन के ऊपर विजय प्राप्त करने की जपा के द्वारा so whenever your mind is rebellious you have to conquer it with transcendental knowledge to jab bhi aapka man jo hai shatru ki tarah kaam kar raha hai to aapko us pe vijay prapt karna hoga ye divya gyan se hoga the mind will always tell you so many nonsense things so you just neglect the mind man to hai bahut sari cheeze hamesha kuch kuch batayega kharab kharab lekin man ki sunna mat You wake up in the morning and you take bath and you come to RT and the mind says, "Oh, go back to bed. Go, oh, go back to sleep. Don't chant this morning. You have to know when to neglect the mind." आप सुबह उठे आप नहाए और फिर RT में आए और फिर नीचे आके फिर आपने सोचा हो हो मुझे तो सो जाना चाहिए जाके तो आप अपने मन की बात मत सुनिए उससे The mind is always saying, "Eat more. Have have more of those rascals. Have more good love, Germans." So mind says, "Man, always says that if you eat more, you eat more good love, you eat more good love, you eat more good love." You've already had three, Prabhu. You have had three times, Prabhu Ji. Oh, it's only three. Nothing. Three times, but it's not enough for me. No, you have to conquer the mind. आपको अपने मन पर विजय प्राप्त करने पड़े तो प्रभु जी का प्रश्न है कि मेरी अभी कई अभिलाषा है भौतिक अभिलाषाएं हैं और चैतन्य महाप्रभु कहते हैं कि ना धनम ना जन्म ना सुंदर तो क्या करें चैतन्य महाप्रभु सन्यासी चैतन्य महाप्रभु सन्यासी हैं सो फॉर सन्यासी से डोंट हैव मनी But for somebody who is in family life, you have to have some money. So, but for somebody who is in family life, you have to have some money. So, but for somebody who is in family life, you have to have some money. So, but for somebody who is in family life, you have to have some money. So, but for somebody who is in family life, you have to have some money. So, but for somebody who is in family life, you have to have some money. So, but for somebody who is in family life, you have to have some money. So, but for somebody who is in family life, you have to have some money. So, but for somebody who is in family life, you have to have some money. So, but for somebody who is in family life, you have to have some money. So, but for somebody who is in family life, you have to have some money. So, but for somebody who is in family life, you have to have some money. So, but for somebody who is in family life, you have to have some money. So, but for somebody who is in family life, you have to Uh, once a devotee, uh, one self to the Lord Krishna, and be a servant to the Lord Krishna. Um, but my question here is that um, I uh, am connected to the materialistic world a lot, and uh, I find happiness in the materialistic world. And the problem is, I find it I'm not that yet. I need more materialistic things. But to fully devote myself to the Lord Krishna, I find it like fifty years after fifty years I do it. So if I do it with my own consciousness after fifty years, will Lord accept my devotion? So Prabhu Ji's question is that Maharaj, you have said that you have to put all your attention in the Bhagwan's devotion, but now I have to come to a very different place in the Bhagwan's devotion. And in the Bhagwan's devotion, it comes to me such a pleasure that I have to come to another place. तो अगर मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि 50 साल बाद मुझे भक्ति करनी चाहिए तो क्या उस समय भगवान मेरी भक्ति को स्वीकार करेंगे वेल यू हैव टू गारंटी यू गोइंग टू लिव टू 50 राइट सम पीपल डोंट लिव दैट लॉन्ग तो पहले आपके पास क्या गारंटी है कि आप 50 साल तक जीओगे भी सो देयर इज सम रिस्क्स देयर दैट बिग रिस्क है आपके जीवन में And 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 sometimes people talk, they plan like that, but when it gets to fifty, they think, "Well, just give me a bit more time, you know. I'm not ready yet. Just give me a few more years." Or, but sometimes people like to think that after fifty, I will do bhakti. After fifty years, they say, "No, no, give me a little more time." Maybe fifty-five, you know. 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 हम उसको हो सकता है आप और आगे पढ़ाना चाहो तो जो मुझे आज करना चाहिए 
मैं उसको आगे धकेलता रहता हूँ and so we don't say you can't enjoy you know there is we all want to enjoy but the, the, the you have to understand that the enjoyment of the material world is actually the perversion of enjoyment is actually more suffering than enjoyment to hum aapko ye nahi keh rahe ki aap is enjoyment mat kijiye aap anand mat lijiye aap anand lijiye hum sab ko hi anand lena chahte hain lekin hum aapko ye bhi batana chahte hain ki is bhautik jagat ka to jo anand hai वो एक्चुअली आनंद का विपरीत है वो ज्यादा दुख का कारण बनता है यू नो वी डोंट टेल पीपल डोंट ईट नो वी से ईट प्रसादम वी डोंट टेल पीपल यू कैन गेट मैरिड यू कैन गेट मैरिड यू कैन हैव अ फैमिली हैव चिल्ड्रन दैट्स ऑल राइट तो हम ये नहीं कहते कि आप खाओ मत हम कहते हैं आप खाइए लेकिन प्रसादम पाइए हम ये नहीं कहते कि आप परिवार मत रखिए आप अपना परिवार रखिए परिवार होना चाहिए हो सकता है बच्चे हो सकते हैं कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है यू मे बी टेलिंग मी दैट यू वांट टू एंजॉय नॉन वेजिटेरियन फूड स्टफ्स आई डोंट थिंक दैट्स एंजॉयमेंट आई थिंक दैट्स सफरिंग दिस हॉरिबल स्टफ द द द थिंग्स यू ईट व्हिच एनिमल फूड एनिमल फ्लैश एंड दे जस्ट फुल ऑफ डिजीज एंड दे ब्रिंग सो मच कर्मा ऑन यू एज वेल it's very it's very wrong time it's not really enjoyment it's the illusion of enjoyment so lekin agar aap mujhe ye kahoge ki main meat kha ke mujhe anand milta hai to ye fir bahut bada bhram hai kyunki meat khana anand nahi de sakta wo to keval dukh ki dukh ka bhandar hai usme bahut sari bimariyan hai usme itna sara karm aapko milega aur puri tarah se aap bhramit ho jao that enjoyment is like the camel You know the camels in the desert they will eat thorns and they chew the thorns and they taste the blood from their own tongue and they're thinking oh very nice these thorns are very nice and they're tasting their own blood and so actually the enjoyment of the material world is like that we're just tasting our own blood and we're thinking it's happiness so this bhautik jagat ka jo sukh hai इसमें महाराज कह रहे कि ये एक उदाहरण ऊंट का कि ऊंट जो है वो कांटे की झाड़ियां खाता है और जब वो कांटों को खाता है तो उसका उन कांटों से उसका अपना खून निकलता है मुंह में उसके घाव हो जाते हैं और वो खून को जब स्वाद चखता है तो कहता है बहुत अच्छे हैं कांटे बहुत बहुत अच्छे हैं स्वाद है लेकिन उसको ये नहीं पता है कि वो अपना ही खून उस समय पी रहा है तो भौतिक जगत का जो सुख है वो इसी तरह से दुख देता है सो देर डिफरेंट लेवल्स ऑफ एंजॉयमेंट there's enjoyment like the dogs then the hogs you know the pig is enjoying filling his belly and the dog is enjoying mating in the streets that's the, the low level pleasure but there's a higher pleasure there's this the pleasure what we say param drishtva the, the the higher taste so you can get that higher taste and that is a much better enjoyment तो तो सुख के भी कई सारे स्तर हैं कुछ जैसे कि सुअर है वो अपना पेट भर के सुखी होने का कोशिश करता है जो कुत्ता है वो सड़क पे ही कुछ संभोग करने का प्रयास करता है लेकिन हम कह रहे हैं कि आप उच्च कोटि का सुख लीजिए परम दृष्टा नहीं वर्तते तो आप आध्यात्मिक सुख को लेंगे तो आपको पता चलेगा कि असली सुख है सो यू वॉन्ट एंजॉय लाइक द डॉग इन दॉक्स यूर चॉइस यू नो Yeah. but once you start enjoying it is not so easy to change later on when you come to older age you've got these bad habits it's not so easy to give them up and to get out and get away from them agar koi ek suar ya kutte ki tarah se koi agar sukhi hona chahta hai to fir wo uski apni ichha hai lekin ek baat aur bhi hai ki agar kisi ne aisa tarika apna liya उसको लगा कि इधर से सुख मिलेगा तो बाद में जाके उसको बदलना भी मुश्किल है क्योंकि बुरी आदतें जब एक बार पड़ जाती हैं उसको छूटना भी मुश्किल है There was a story about Indra you know is king of heaven he got cursed by his guru to become a hog so he was in the body of a hog and he, you know he in the body of a hog he was living with all the hogs and he was eating the hog food and then the guru came and told him said okay you've been a pig long enough now you come back and he said no i'm happy here to ye ek aapne suni hogi katha ki 
इंद्र एक बार इंद्र को श्राप मिला था अपने गुरु के द्वारा और श्राप मिला था कि आप सुअर बन जाओ और इंद्र जब सुअर बन गए तो यहाँ पे आगे बहुत ही जगत में और वहां पे कई सारे सुअर दोस्तों के साथ और सुअर का परिवार और तो जब उनके गुरु उनके पास फिर कुछ समय बाद वापिस आए उनको बोला की आपका श्राप खत्म हो गया है अब आपको सुअर बनने की जरूरत नहीं तो इंद्र ने कहा नहीं नहीं मैं बहुत सुखी हूँ इधर I get my pig food every day. They bring me the big buckets of pig food. I'm having look. I'm big and fat too, you know. So, Swar ke roop mein Indra kehta hai ki mujhe apna baltiyan bhar bhar ke khana mil raha hai apna aur main abhi mota bhi hu aur taaja bhi hu. So, dekho kitna sukhi hu. And I have my pig children. My pig wives are all here. How can I leave them? मेरी सुअर पत्नी सुअर बच्चे तो कैसे छोड़ सकता हूँ मैं? So then the guru said, okay, just wait. I'll go get the butcher. <laughs> so they bought the butcher with a big knife, and the butcher came. Where's that big fat pig? So she get the pig. Now then Indra said, oh, okay, take me with you. तो गुरु ने कहा ठीक है अभी बताता हूँ तुम्हें तो गुरु ने एक कसाई को बुलाया और कसाई अपना बड़ा चाकू लेके आया तो बोले कहा है वो मोटा वाला सुअर <laughs> और फिर जो है उनको समझ आया फिर वो रोने लगे और बोले कि ठीक है ठीक है मुझे अपने साथ ले जाओ गुरु जी यस प्रभु प्रश्न है कि महाराज आपने बताया कि हमें हमेशा लेने का भाव नहीं होना चाहिए हमें देने में ज्यादा प्रसन्नता मिलता है तो हमें देना चाहिए सेवा करना चाहिए तो लेकिन हम जिस भौतिक जगत में रहते हैं तो उस उसमें हर कोई हमें हम देखते हैं कि कोई हम हम अगर ऐसा करने का कोशिश भी करते हैं तो लोग उसका फायदा उठाते हैं हमारे यहाँ तक कि हमारे परिवार वाले भी उसका फायदा उठाते हैं तो इसको कैसे करना चाहिए कि एक तरफ हमें ज्यादा सेवा करना चाहिए लेकिन दूसरी तरफ लोग फायदा उठा रहे हैं Uh, so we want to give them something which will be for their real benefit, which they're not going to waste, which will not be, uh, in, they won't be taking advantage of us. We will give them something. If you give them the holy name, if you give them some prasadam, even you know, there, there's many things we can give people. They don't. It's it's not always that they can take advantage of us or anything. But we give them spiritual benefit by giving them some Krishna consciousness. You can give them spiritual knowledge. That can also be good for some people. So, Maharaj, you are telling us that we give them some such things, which will not be used for us, and that will be for our benefit. For example, we give them some such things. होली नेम दे सकते हैं हरी नाम का जप करने के लिए बता सकते हैं उनको कुछ आध्यात्मिक चीज दे सकते हैं कुछ लोगों को पढ़ना अच्छा लगता है तो आप उसको वो दे सकते हैं तो ऐसा कुछ चीज दें और इस चीज में वो आपका कभी फायदा नहीं उठा पाए बट वी डू वॉन्ट टू टेक दैट रिस्क बेस्ट गिवर्स फॉर देर बेनिफिट दे मे नॉट बी एबल टू टेक एडवांटेज But still, we shouldn't give up that tendency to want to give to others. So, in this, we have to take a little risk, and we want to give others something that will make them happy. Although they don't want it, or they don't understand that it will make them happy, but we don't want to give them something that will make them happy. But we don't want to give up that tendency to want to give to others. Although they don't want it, or they don't understand that it will make them happy. But we don't want to give up that tendency to want to The two men were walking along the road one day, and they saw this. Um, what what is it with the the tail on the back? They bite the uh, bitten by a not the cobra, but the the thing which with the tail. They have poison in the tail. They bite you with it. Scorpion. Scorpion. Yeah, scorpion. Yeah. And so they they were they saw the scorpion was drowning in the water, and so the man. One man picked it up out of the water to save it from the water, 
But when he picked up the scorpion, the scorpion bit him and it fell back again into the water. So the man again went to pick it up and bring it out of the water. So, आपने ये सुना होगा कि एक बार दो दोस्त जा रहे थे और एक जो बिच्छू है वो पानी में गिर गया तो एक दोस्त ने उसको निकालने की कोशिश की जैसे ही बाहर निकाला तो उसने डंक मारा उसको और फिर फिर से गिर गया पानी में लेकिन उसने फिर उसको दोबारा निकालने का कोशिश किया so his friend said why are you trying to save it it bit you the last time why are you trying to save it and the man said well he doesn't give up his nature why should i give up my nature so like that we should we should try our best to give to others even though people may not always appreciate and they may not take proper advantage but still we shouldn't feel discouraged we should want to keep trying to give so isme hame hatash hone ki zarurat nahi hai ki agar log usko acche se sarana nahi kar pa rahe lekin hame apna karya karte rehna chahiye hame zyada zyada unko dene ka prayas karna chahiye you know probably could have just thought oh i've tried krishna consciousness these people they don't take advantage they not take probably didn't give up trying he kept trying to give krishna consciousness तो प्रभुपाद जी जो है उन्होंने अपना प्रयास नहीं छोड़ा प्रभुपाद जी ने ये नहीं कहा ओ मैं तो इनको भक्ति कराने की कोशिश कर रहा हूँ ये सीख ही नहीं रहे हैं प्रभुपाद जी अपने प्रयास में लगे रहे सो वी हैव टू हैव दैट मूड दैट इवन दो वी मे नॉट बी सक्सेसफुल वी वांट गिव अप तो हमारा ऐसा मूड होना चाहिए कि अगर हम सफल नहीं भी हो रहे तब भी हमें उसको त्यागना नहीं अपने प्रयास को प्रयास में लगे रहना है yes. someone is uh, down with some uh, serious disease so how uh, and and the situation is that everyone is also talking about it reminding about it and the person himself feels very low so how to stay high and not think about the disease you have to fix yourself in in transcendental knowledge you have to fix yourself on the higher platform that you're not the body so aapko apne aap ko divya gyan mein sthit karna padega आपको अपने आप को ये समझाना होगा कि आप ये शरीर नहीं है यू हैव टू टेक शेल्टर ऑफ द होली नेम आपको भगवान के दिव्य नामों का आश्रय लेना चाहिए एंड जॉइन द कीर्तन गेट अ लॉट ऑफ कीर्तन और आपको खूब सारा कीर्तन करना चाहिए डोंट बी वरीड अबाउट ऑल द नॉनसेंस टॉक हाउ द मंडेन टॉक सो जो फालतू की बातें उसका बिल्कुल चिंता मत कीजिए द रियल मेडिसिन इज द होली नेम महाराज जी एज यू सेट दैट सर्विस शुड बी प्योर without any person motto but when i used to cook most of the time i used to think uh, let's prepare which is more satisfying to me of course we uh, i used to offer to lord after cooking but how to look into it and how to purify this consciousness so in the in the prashn hai ki aapne bataya seva jo hai is bhav se hona chahiye krishna ko santushti dein aur koi abhilasha और कोई अभिलाषा नहीं होना चाहिए लेकिन मैं जब कुकिंग करता हूं तो मुझे हालांकि मैं उसको भोग लगाता हूं लेकिन मैं ऐसा चीज बनाता हूं जो मुझे खुद संतुष्टि दे बाय ऑफरिंग टू कृष्णा सिंपली बाय ऑफरिंग टू कृष्णा टेक्स अवे ऑल द कंटामिनेशन देयर तो महाराज बता रहे केवल भगवान को अर्पण करने से जो भी उसमें कमी है वो ठीक हो जाता है 
you offer to Krishna in the temple or on your altar, you chant the prayers, and before we take the food, we also say the prayer, Bhaktivinoda Thakur wrote, all right? Sharera, Vijayajau, that prayer, you should say these prayers. This is how we purify all these impurities. So, yeah. Thank you, Maharaj. Uh, Hare Krishna, Maharaj, Dandavat Pram. Thank you so much. Maharaj, just I want to ask that ki, even uh, usually I listen ki holy name is non different from Krishna. There is no difference between holy name and Krishna. But in reality, I don't have so much strong faith towards the holy name. I take it uh, casual. So Maharaj, how I can serious about holy name? How, how I can develop very, very strong faith towards holy name? How I can this Maharaj? This is my question. By more kirtan. You join the kirtan, chant with the devotees, associate with devotees who are chanting the holy name. If you just sit and chant the holy name on your own, it will not be so effective. But if you chant with other devotees, and particularly if you join the kirtan, then you have more faith in the holy name. Thank you so much, Maharaj. Uh, Nira Mata, Nishi Mataji. Hare Krishna Maharaji. Maharaji, my question is that as we are going to start the start of Navratri, and we are going to start the start of Navratri, so what do we need to do in Navratri? So what do we need to do in Navratri? What do we need to do in the altar where we are going to do the Navratri? We can do that. So, Maharaj, uh, the Navratras, uh, the Durga Navratras are starting. Uh, so, we, we are now from last one year more into Krishna consciousness, practicing Krishna consciousness. So, previously we used to have Durga Devi on the same altar and we used to worship. So, what should we do now? Well, go to the Navratri and distribute Prabhupada's books. <laughs> Go there with the Kirtan party. Kirtan party And tell them they can do their uh, what is it? The, the, the dancing with the sticks, you know? Dandia. Huh? Dandia. Dandia. Yeah, they can do it to Hare Krishna mantra. <laughs> Lekin Maharaj Ji, Hare Krishna. Maharaj kare bhakto ke sangme sankirtan me jaiye aur jo dandiya karte hain usko dandiya ki wajah se sankirtan ke saath kijiye. Lekin Maharaj Ji, Devi Mata prasan nahi hui to. If Goddess Durga, she is not happy with me, then. Oh, she'll be very happy with you. Don't you worry about it. She's a devotee. You haven't been to Mayapur and in, in, in Rajapur we have the deity there of uh, uh, the, <laughs> what's the name? Simantini. Yes, yeah, Simantini is there. Simantini is Durga. So, if you go to Mayapur, there is a temple in Mayapur, in Rajapur, 
तो वहां पे सिमंतिनी देवी की विग्रह है और वो दुर्गा है तो शी इज हैप्पी वर्शिपिंग लॉर्ड चैतन्य और वो बहुत खुश है चैतन्य महाप्रभु की आराधना करके एंड लॉर्ड चैतन्य इज चैंटिंग हरे कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु हरे कृष्ण का जप करते हैं ओके थैंक यू महाराज नेक्स्ट राजेश गोयल को वो क्विकली हरे कृष्णा महाराज दंडवत प्रणाम महाराज मेरा क्वेश्चन ये था कि महाराज हमारा ये ऐसा भाव कब आएगा कि हम ये सब सोचें कि सब ये कृष्ण का है जैसा कि आपने भी बताया तो ये भाव तो डेवलप नहीं हो पा रहा है कि सब कृष्ण का है well then you have to you have to try to understand more the value of krishna's teachings to aapko bhagwan ki jo shiksha bhagwan ne di hai uska kya mahatva hai usko aur zyada gehrai se samajhna chahiye you know you're born with nothing and when you leave the world you have nothing jab aap paida hue the aapke paas kuch nahi tha aur jab jaoge tab bhi kuch nahi hoga So, what is actually yours? Papa, hey, kya? You didn't bring anything with you when you came into the world, and when you leave, you can't take anything with you. So, जब आप आए थे तब आप कुछ लेके आए नहीं, और जब जाओगे तो कुछ लेके जा सकते नहीं. Papa, hey, kya? Now, Bali Maharaj was intelligent. Bali Maharaj had much more than you. he was the king of heaven he had occupied the heavenly planets and he became the ruler in heaven you cannot even begin to compare your opulence to his to so, bali maharaj ke paas itna aishwarya tha bali maharaj ne swarg pe apna adhipatya jama liya tha sab kuch unka tha so when lord vamana dev came and begged charity from him he was told by his guru don't give him charity because he's vishnu and he's going to take everything away from you so jab aman dev wahan pe aaye bali maharaj se unhone bhiksha manga to shukracharya ne bali maharaj ko kaha ki inko mat dijiyega ye vishnu hai so bali maharaj thought well if he is vishnu he could he can take everything from me by force if he wants i wouldn't be able to you know if he's really vishnu he can take it all away from me to bari maharaj ne socha us samay ki agar ye vishnu hai to ye sab kuch mere se chhin sakte hain agar ye chahe to so if he's going to take it better i give it to him rather than he takes it to agar wo mere se sab chhin nahi sakte hain to acha hai ki main hi unko de dun isse acha ki wo mere se le so you should consider You, you know you're thinking you're the proprietor whatever you have is yours it's not krishna's but if krishna wants he can take it all away from you so aap jo hai sab cheezon pe apna adhipatya samajh rahe ho soch rahe ho ki ye sab cheeze mera hai lekin krishna chahe to aap se sab kuch chhin sakte hain you would be better just to give to krishna rather than him take it from you to ye zyada acha rahega ki aap कृष्ण को सब कुछ दें बजाय कि कृष्ण आपसे लेवरीथिंग वो ठीक और इस जीवन के अंत पे तो सब कुछ देना है सो यू डिसाइड वट डू वॉन्ट टू डू आपको ये निर्धारित करना पड़ेगा कि आप क्या करना चाहते हो इफ यू गिव यू गेट द क्रेडिट ऑफ गिविंग इन अगर आप देते हो भगवान को तो आपको उसका श्रेय मिलता है देने का and if you don't give then you get the sin that you've got all that and you never gave par agar aap nahi dete to aapko uska paap milta hai kyunki aapne wo sab kuch pe kabza kar rakha hai aur aap de nahi rahe ho so you have to think about these things to aapko ye sab cheez sochna padega you don't give to krishna you give to doctors you <laughs> give to lawyers अगर आप कृष्ण को नहीं दोगे तो डॉक्टरों को दोगे वकीलों को दोगे वुड यू रादर गिव टू कृष्ण और वुड यू रादर गिव टू डॉक्टर्स एंड टू लॉयर्स एंड दीस पीपल तो आप किसको देना चाहोगे कृष्ण को या फिर वकीलों को डॉक्टरों को 
So you think about these things and decide. Thank you, Maharaj. Next, uh, Priya Mata Ji. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Thank you so much, Maharaj. I had a question from yesterday class, if I can ask, if you permit, Maharaj. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Maharaj, yeah, when uh, is it absolutely wrong to ask something material uh, from Lord? Like being a neophyte, whenever uh, I wish something, I always wish for a very little and very uh, insignificant material things like, oh God, please this work, oh God, please this patient gets well, oh God, please this thing goes according to me. So involuntarily also, if I don't think also, I would always be like, my mind would be praying some way or the other ki ye aise ho jaya, ye aise ho jaya. So is it absolutely wrong to uh, desire any material thing because I can't desire anything spiritual being at this level. So Mata Ji ka prashna ki kya bhagwan se kuch bhautik chijay maangna bilkul hi galat hai kya kya mein bhagwan se bhautik chijay nahi maangna chik pe ki kuki kuch chijay maare man mein humeshai chalta rehta hai chahe wo chijay bhaut choti bhi ho ki marish chik ho jaya, ye ho jaya, wo ho jaya. So kya mein bhagwan se kuch maangna chahi bhautik well, it's good in the sense that at least you're praying to God, you know, you have material desires. It said four kinds of people come to Krishna, you know, and what they're, they come with material desires, just like Dhruva Maharaj wanted a big kingdom. I mean, it, it, it's not bhakti, but it's karma, it's a, a karma mishra bhakti. So, uh, agar aapke paas kuch... So it's not pure bhakti, but it's some devotion mixed with your material desires. So you won't get back to Godhead like that. So it's not bhakti, but bhakti is uh, you have to gradually, you know, you have to purify that desire. You say you're a neophyte, so don't remain a neophyte. How long are you going to be a neophyte? When are you going to give up these all these material desires? So you, you have to be careful that you can go on like that your whole life, one desire after another. I, oh, Krishna, give me this. Oh, Krishna, that. Just one desire. You never end. You never come to pure devotion. So, yeah, you can do it, but it's not pure devotion. It's not very pleasing to Krishna. You can read about Dhruva Maharaj in the Srimad Bhagavatam. And learn from him. He got his desires. <laughs> but when he got his desires, he didn't want them. He did. He but he wanted pure devotion. But the Lord told him, "No, you asked for this. Now you have to take it." And so he's there on the pole star. So you decide uh, how long you're going to be a neophyte and when you're going to give up being a neophyte. Okay. So any more? They can take tomorrow. Two more hands are up. Oh yeah. I don't know. Oh have kirtan? Okay. So, 
परम पूज्य ईदोल ने शिला भक्ति विघ्न विनाश नरसिंह का स्वामी महाराज का धन्यवाद देना चाहेंगे महाराज ने उतना समय देकर एक एक हमारे प्रश्न को महाराज कितने सुंदर तरीके से उत्तर दे रहे हैं और ये हमारे लिए लॉटरी लगाए कृष्ण भावना मिलता तो इसलिए हम सब महाराज को पूरे हृदय से धन्यवाद देते हैं हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र के द्वारा